Hello everyone and welcome back to Train Simulator 2019. I am New Haven Rail Guy and in this episode we are going to be doing an early clocker Amtrak train from Philadelphia to New Jersey. I've done this scenario before. It's a lot of fun. It's on the higher difficulty for some reason, although I can't tell why. I think it's because you have to do a little bit of waiting at switches. I'm not entirely sure if that's the full reason for it being like it is, but it certainly is one of the reasons. What you're seeing right now is some of the loading screens. The summer sale loading screen is here because it's currently, as of the recording of this video, the 2019 summer steam sale, which is still going on until the 9th, so I've got just a couple more days left. Good morning, Engineer. Your train is due to leave for Trenton at 7.05 behind the late running service just pulling into your right. We'll be making two station stops along the way. This service would normally go all the way to New York, but an infrastructure failure between Trenton and Hamilton will see it terminating at Trenton today. Be sure to observe signals and track speed limits. Okay. Alright. So this guy's pulling in right next to me. We've got the AM7. I'm going to put the headlights on. And load. Okay, cool. Let's go into our cab here. This locomotive has one of the worst cab views out there because of this big box right here. <laughs> Look at that. The ramp came down on that AM fleet. That wouldn't happen. They just open the doors because it's a high rise platform. All right, so what we gotta do is we gotta we gotta wait for this guy. Our signal isn't clear. One mistake I've made when playing this scenario is not waiting for this guy and trying to go ahead of it, trying to go ahead of him, and I end up getting in next to him because my switch goes right over where he is, so I end up running into the side of him. And that's not great. So we're gonna wait for him to get a good significant distance, and I should be able to tell Ruth signaling over here but it's not it's not really showing up so either way I'm just gonna give him a minute to leave that lady's legs are phasing through the ground so are that guys ah uh, the graphical glitches of an old game engine Okie doke. Well, I should be able, again, I should be able to see the signal up there. Looks like I've still got to stop. I think that's my signal. It should be. Uh, okay, well, so I'm not late. I'm going to go ahead and release the train brake get going. Hit the bell. Twenty five percent. Now I recently did a scenario with the ACS sixty four, which is the replacement for the AM seven. I think it's a good locomotive. The major problem that I have with it is it's got one of those combined throttle brakes where you go backwards on the throttle and some brake. That always throws me off and I don't know why. I mean, I got used to it on the Surfliner, but I don't know. It's just weird. off. Okay, so we got an inbound. Our signal was clear, so we should be good. I don't think we'll be crossing over. Okay, good. I mean, he's crossing, but 
please don't hit me. Please don't hit me. Okay, good. I tell you what, with these electric mo locomotives, they get up to speed fairly quickly. And I got a huge speeding penalty right there. That was my bad. Otherwise, we should be should be good to go. AEM seven. I always liked the look of it. I mean, at first, I kind of didn't. But the more I look at it, the more it grows on me. Kind of like the ACS sixty four. The ACS-64 has a lot more of a shaped look to it, whereas this looks just like a box, like old European locomotives are. It's okay, though. Got a lot of inbound trains coming. Hopefully I can find some AEM-7 scenarios for the New York-New Haven section. Because currently they're only available for the Philadelphia and... Oh, gosh, dang it, more speeding. Wow, I really need to pay more attention. Yeah, currently they're only available for the Philadelphia and New York sections. So, that's unfortunate. What's even more unfortunate is the fact that I keep getting these dang speeding penalties, and that's going to mean that, unfortunately, I'm probably not going to get that great of a score. I'm probably not even going to get a star. But that's okay. The whole point of this is the journey, so you guys can see what goes all into it. So we're going to be stopping in North Philadelphia. That will be our first destination. And then from there, I think I'll cut it till we're at our next destination. Or coming up on our next destination, I should say. And we're slowing down for some reason. Because the safety alert was on. Yeah, these electric locomotives certainly are different. They're not bad. Just takes some getting used to when you've been operating diesel. Because they get up to speed so quickly. Sometimes they take longer. Like, for some reason, the AEM-7 feels like it takes longer to get up to speed than the ACS-64. And that's probably realistic, because the ACS-64 is newer technology. Alright, so we are... Not even close to the speed limit. Hide the hood for a minute so you guys can see this beautiful train. Only four cars, which I don't know if that's standard for the clocker. I don't think so. It may have been at one point. Uh, the speed limit's 90. I freaked out a little bit there. one of the busiest sections of track in the Northeast Corridor between Washington and Boston. 
I think this is where the majority of the country's train traffic is, at least passenger. The West Coast has a lot, but I don't think they run as many as Northeast Corridor because you've got three really big cities. Washington, Philadelphia, or Ford, sorry. Washington, Philadelphia, New York, Boston, and then the cities in between, like New Haven and my home city of Providence, Rhode Island. So it is definitely the East Coast hub, and then from Boston you can continue on north, places like New Hampshire, Maine, Vermont, and all those cities, but that's all diesel power. Here we are at North Philadelphia. Let's get back in the cab. The speed limit is 70 miles an hour. Time to start breaking. North Philadelphia. I don't know how accurate this is. I've never been to... I mean, we probably stopped at North Philadelphia Station when I took the train to my home state of Rhode Island. But... I don't remember what North Philadelphia would have looked like if we stopped there. And I don't know if the, the big Northeast trains make as many stops in between, so... them brakes. 50%. And away we go. Alright, and I will see you guys in just a few minutes when we go to the when we get to the next station. So here we are, coming up on Cornwall Heights Track 1. Unfortunately, I got some more speeding penalties off screen. There was a drop from, I think, 70-something to about 45, and I just missed it. So that's why I'm minus 787 points. Oh, man, now I see why this is a hard route, because the speed limit changes are just brutal. Oh, they're brutal. coming up to the station. Thanks. 
Oh no. Oh no. 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 Uh, oh no. Uh. Uh, that's not good. We overshot it. Alright. Not to worry, not, not to worry. I'll be fine. Just everybody's gonna have to either pile through on this car or... Oh, this is gonna severely hurt our time though. Ugh. That was horrible. I can't believe I didn't start braking earlier, earlier than I did. That was a horrible misjudgment. Uh, not going to get a timeliness bonus there. I am so sorry, passengers. That was, that was awful. Alright, on where we go. What about the pantographs change? Depending on the direction. I don't know if that's a real thing or not. I get, I'm assuming it must be. Turn off that bell. Alright, and we'll see you guys at hopefully the next successful station stop. Hopefully it's successful. See you then. Okay, here we are coming up on Trenton Track 1. We've got a whole cluster of speed limits here, so just to be safe instead of sorry, I'm going to start braking early. This is tricky, as we saw with the last station stop. Oh my, that was that was something. I don't think I've missed a platform since I first started playing. That was the first one. That was certainly the first one I recorded. Once I get past the 65, I'm going to start breaking until I can get down to 30. Which is the ideal speed, anyway. I was doing... I was still in the 40s by the time I started braking. That was way too late. So that's actually a really good speed limit. Thankfully, this is a longer platform. Alright, here we are, Trenton. Ugh, my score just keeps going down. This is depressing. Wow, Trenton's a pretty big... Well, that's a big walkway, but... Pretty big station complex. 
I'll show you more, but the overhead catenary wires are getting in the way. Oh. Okay, well that's apparently the end, so... Ugh, that's a horrible score. You've successfully completed the scenario. Alright folks, well that's going to do it for me for this one, so thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. God bless, have a good one, and I will see you further down the line. Look at all these penalties. Peace.